Well, what's up guys, JDog back here again, and today we're going to be going through how we can add working links to our server. We're going to be going through two ways, one's going to be a way that you can use a command block button, or you can use it in chat where it'll put something in your chat that you can then click, follow the link, and then end up on the required page. And another way using an NPC and the Villager Market plugin, where you can set up an item for them to click on, which will then display a link in the chat which they can then click on again, and follow through to your live link. All very exciting and fun to have on your server, so let's get to the guide. And of course, if you haven't yet, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and if you are looking for a server to play on, check out the description for the Universal server, with lots of fun quests, real estate, auction houses, bounties, and much more. So first, let's get started by doing the command, and we can do this in our chat bar, or of course, in a command block. And of course, if you put it onto a command block, people can press it with a button, displaying the link easily on a server. However, for tutorial purposes, let's do it in the chat bar. So, we're going to put a forward slash, of course, in the command block, don't need to put the forward slash and we're going to be doing the tell raw command then we're going to press space now this is going to be the only difference between using this and the villager market plugin which is going to specify who the player is we'll get to that when we get to the other part of the tutorial with the villager market plugin for a command block or for the chat you can put at a or at s so it affects the closest person or everybody in the chat and then we're going to start off with a parentheses after that we're going to go for a quotation mark and we're going to put the text with another quotation mark and a colon. Sorry if I say any of these wrong, I could be wrong, <laughs> this is what I call them. Now, let's specify what it's actually gonna say in the chat bar. So again, we're gonna go for a quotation mark. In this instance, we're gonna be putting our YouTube link. So I'm just gonna put YouTube. You can put anything, you can put click here for this. I use it for a live map so they can go to the dining map, completely up to you. After that, we're gonna put another quotation mark followed by a comma. Now let's specify the click event. We're gonna be doing a quotation mark and we're gonna type in click event with a capital E, followed by a quotation mark and a colon. Let's now specify the action by adding a parentheses. Now make sure that you are just copying this pretty much exactly. You can just ch change the wording in between and the link. So change the wording after text, e.g. where I have YouTube, and then you can change the link and it will all work fine. Now we're gonna do a quotation mark and we're gonna do action followed by a quotation mark and then another colon. Here we're now gonna specify what the action is going to be from the click event. This is gonna be done by doing a quotation mark. We're gonna put open underscore URL quotation mark followed by a comma another quotation mark to start what the value is going to be which is the link i'm going to type in value over here close it off with a quotation mark add another colon add a quotation mark and this is going to be where we put our link now just because this line is going to get a little bit confusing and um, once i do put the link in here let's first do an example where i just write the link obviously yours is going to be a http address however just so we get the overall command um, well known to you as well we're also going to finish this off after you put the link with another quotation mark and two parentheses so that hasn't gone to a, ni a nice unread color which means i've definitely done something wrong with it ah it looks like i hadn't put a space so put a space between the player so at a and then the rest and then once you have got it written in like that um, it will turn yellow, which means it's ready to do. So don't worry, no mistakes are made. Just simply put a space after the at A and then the actual command itself. Right, so now that you know what it is, I'm actually going to put the link. So to do that, you're going to replace this part here. So between these quotes where it says the link, and I'm simply going to put the link. I'm going to copy and paste what I have. There we go. So this is a link to my YouTube. Again, between the quotation marks and right at the end, as you can see, I finish off with the quotation marks and then two parentheses. So let's just go ahead and press enter. As you can see, it displays YouTube in my chat bar now. Now if I go ahead and click on this, it's going to ask me whether I want to open it, and there is my link to my YouTube channel. Pretty awesome, right? Now, let's check it out if you want to put it on Villager Market. So as a quick explanation to the Villager Market plugin, it can give you shops for the admins, such as these ones here, which can give you free items. You get rentable and viable shops for players in time increments or unlimited. And if you are looking how to install this plugin and you want a tutorial, I've got a full guide popping up on the screen right now. Either way, once you have Villager Market installed, we're going to do a forward slash, we're going to do a VM, and and then create you're going to specify whether it's an admin shop or a player shop i'm going to do this as an admin shop so you don't have to keep restocking it so admin and of course it will allow commands within it press space again and then we can put how much storage you want so i'm going to put just one row here which means one row of items and that works in rows so that's not going to be one block you get one entire row of items to put in his inventory to sell or buy once you've done press enter and that will then create your admin shop i won't create one because i've got one right here in front of me then next what you want to do is you want to right click on him to manage him we're going to click on edit shop front and as you can see, I already have mine set up here. Now, a good thing to do is actually use an anvil to rename what it is first, because once they hover over it, that's the name that will show. So obviously,
basically I've just taken my player skull here, use essentials X if you don't, do a forward slash skull, you can take your skull, you can rename it in an anvil, I've just called it official website, and then we can use this item. In fact, let's do that right now. So I'm going to take my block and go to the anvil, and I'm just going to name this test right here, test link. Let's go for a test link. So I'm going to take this, and now obviously you can see that this block is now called test link. So let's go to Azure shop front, and we're going to simply put this in the item bar, as you can see we have the one row, and we're going to click in there to deposit. First in your chat, put how many you want to sell. This is sort of inadequate for the command, but um, basically for this put one, so we're going to sell one each time of the command, and then we're going to put zero because we're not going to put a price to it. So as you can see, we have an amount of one every time we click it, and it's free, and it's unlimited. So now to manage it and put the command, let's click on the item itself, and we're going to come down to here, which is mode. Click it once, click it twice, click it again, and then you're going to be on the command section, as you can see the command here. As you can see, the command on the right is now highlighted yellow come down to actually set the command and here it's going to ask you to put it in the chat bar what the command is going to run when they do click this item so again we have to write this extremely long piece of code down again however there is a slight difference because we want to aim at the player at a isn't going to work because it's coming from an npc so the only difference really is that we're going to do a tell raw and rather than at a we're going to do a percentage mark and we're going to write in player finish it off with a percentage mark and then we got to go again and do the same command rather than you having to go back in the video let's just go over it one more time so rather than that a we put player and then we're going to follow that with a parentheses that is then followed by a quotation mark we're going to put text quotation mark do a colon quotation mark put the link name so again i'm just going to put youtube in this section close it off with a quotation mark then go ahead with a comma sorry about the people walking around i have npcs walking around the spawn so again that was a comma after youtube and then the quotation mark so youtube quotation mark comma quotation mark click event with a capital e quotation mark colon Start another parentheses, we're going to do a quotation mark, we're going to do the action right here, close it off with a quotation mark, we're going to do a colon, quotation mark, open underscore URL, another quotation mark, a comma, quotation mark, we're going to put value here, quotation mark, colon, quotation mark, here goes your link, again I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm just going to write the link first, so you can see how it ends, we're going to do a quotation mark, and we're going to follow it off, or finish it off rather, with two, so guys, it, um, <laughs> It looks like I pressed enter accidentally. Oh. As you can see, we have our thing there, and uh, just in case this has happened to you, let's go through what you do with this. And unfortunately, the only thing I'm going to recommend, because this is going to keep adding commands, is actually completely removing it. Remove your item, click yes to confirm, put your item back in. We're going to specify one to sell at a time. We're going to specify for zero dollars. Let's click on it to manage it again. Click it over to command, click on command. Press forward slash and then press up until you hit what you last typed in. So we were at the link and then after the link to finish it off, again, it was going to be two parentheses. So just like that. Now let's replace what it actually says between these quotation marks for the link with your live link. So I'm just going to paste that in, do a control V to paste. And then let's press enter. So now the command has been done. The way to actually check this now is just exit out of this, click on your villager market, click on the preview shop and then click on test link. As you can see, we've popped up right there. That's a good sign. So now let's go ahead and click it. There we go, and it's worked perfectly fine. So guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and do subscribe. It really does help out the channel a ton, and it helps give me that motivation to make them next videos. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.